I'm CEO Foxtrot, and I didn't particularly want to make this Red Dead Online update video for a few reasons. My channel's content's practically brand new, and I don't feel like it's ready for Red Dead update videos, because I'm still in the process of finding my own unique lane within the Red Dead 2 gaming YouTuber community. Also, I don't want to start making negative videos about Red Dead Redemption 2 or Grand Theft Auto, because despite all the very legitimate gripes that players have about these games, I personally feel like these games are absolutely amazing when it comes to video games in general. Anyway, the reason for this video is this. Everyone knows that Rockstar Games is extremely absent from players when it comes to their games, and I'm sure that there's some sort of strategy that they have in place for a reason. But I've personally been paying close attention to when the moment will be that Rockstar Games realizes that they will have to be more accessible to their players, aka customers. Now I always believe that that day would come as soon as another game designing company comes along and finally gives Rockstar some serious competition. I've always felt like players would have easily jumped ship on Red Dead Online a long time ago if there was actually somewhere else to go, but Rockstar Games seem like they have a go ahead try to go somewhere else attitude. Well a couple of days ago on October 31st 2020, Rockstar Game official design directors did an interview with a German gaming website GameStar, which I'll leave a link in the description below. And besides the interview hinting towards much more new and exciting content, they also repeated their focus on quality of life game features and bug fixes, as well as paying attention to feedback from the player community, which I'll get to their actual quotes in a moment. Yeah, I can hear most of you saying, yeah right, Rockstar paying attention to players feedback ain't gonna happen. Well that's the actual reason for this video. After reading this latest interview, which I had to transfer from German to English by the way, I was instantly reminded of a particular video from about 8 months ago uploaded by Zumi Fiasco where he left his heavy hearted opinion of Rockstar Games absence from players feedback and concerns. I'll also leave a link to that video in the description below, but here's a clip of that video. Rockstar has been pretty much a ghost the entire time. Players are saying Rockstar hasn't publicly addressed their reported problems. They don't openly share background patches and notes for updates, and most of the time they don't respond to player feedback or criticism on game related things. Rockstar has a long way to go to rebuild bridges they have burned with a lot of fans. So since that video, I've been waiting to see the time when Rockstar realizes that not keeping players in the know will start doing them more harm than good. Oh, hello. Now, 8 months later, Zumi Fiasco again uploaded a very similar heavy hearted video just about a week ago and I'll also leave that link in the description below. But here's a clip of that video. When the majority of the fan base feels the same way, they all feel like this, something is wrong with the game. A lot of times now you don't see many players playing Red Dead Online. If they are playing, they're probably grinding still for the hope that a big update will come out eventually or they're just trying to create content or there's a different reason other than actually enjoying themselves. Now this latest Rockstar interview is starting to make me wonder if they're possibly turning a corner on the matter of acknowledging players feedback. So I decided to make this video because this latest interview seemed to be somewhat out of Rockstar's normal character. The interview said that Rockstar Games teased what is currently planned for the future of Red Dead Online. If the last role, meaning the naturalist role, is too slow and leisurely, you can look forward to more action and shooting in the best Wild West days. The future of Red Dead Online is getting more action packed. Now I'm not a huge fan for speculating on things that aren't for sure, so decide for yourself what you think all of that means. Designer director Scott Butchard of Rockstar Games mentions that the players won't have to wait too long for a more action oriented update, and describes the feedback of the community as particularly important which is essential for the upcoming content of Red Dead Online. He says we have an idea of the general direction of the game, and feedback from the community will continue to help us make decisions a lot in the future. Design director Katie Pika of Rockstar Games explains that we have an extensive catalog of content, both with ideas that we've already determined for future updates and with a whole range of options that we continue to refine until we can also implement them. Design director Scott Butchard also went on to say, in particular, the hunt for legendary animals was an element of the single player that we always liked. And, with the different roles of Red Dead Online, there should be something for everyone. Sooner or later, every player should have taken on every job anyway. With the different roles of Red Dead Online, there should be something for everyone. There should be something for every type of player in Red Dead Redemption 2's multiplayer. And here are the more noticeable quotes of the interview. 
Director of Design Production Tara Kamad mentioned that in the future there will be additional improvement and bug fixes for Red Dead Online which will continue to build on feedback from the community. And while bugs and glitches are fixed as quickly as possible, the so-called quality of life features tend to take place in the course of the major updates. Then the GameStar interview pretty much closes with, what exactly the next update for Red Dead Online has in store is currently not known. So again, I'm not going to speculate on what or when the next update might be. But this is the first time in a very long time that Rockstar Games actually communicated its true concerns about the future of Red Dead Online. Why only from a German gaming platform so far, I'm not quite sure. But any news that we get from Rockstar's actual mouth is very long awaited good news. Now of course it's always great to hear that Rockstar is hard at work to bring us more action packed content in the near future. But the thing I noticed most about this particular interview was how many times that Rockstar mentions players feedback being essential and particularly important. So I'm always curious to see if Rockstar will be more engaged with their player community in the future also, which is what I'm going to be paying more attention to. Or are they simply talking about players feedback being from all the data that they collect from players gameplay? I've always wondered if there are key personnel on the Rockstar team who watch YouTube videos posted by gaming influencers like Zumi Fiasco, who's a voice for many YouTubers who share the same feelings about Red Dead Online as he does. Because I definitely understand his frustration. But I myself am a slight bit more forgiving of Rockstar Games, and Zumi Fiasco also mentions this in his videos. I greatly appreciate the unimaginable experience that Rockstar Games has provided through the Red Dead and GTA series and I never want to take for granted how incredible these open world games are despite of all their flaws and hiccups. And whenever I hear the words virtual reality, I don't think of those supposed high tech 3D headsets. I immediately think of Rockstar open world games as being as close to virtual reality as you can possibly get in modern times. Now I'm not going to get into that because this video is getting a little longer than I expected it to. But maybe I'll do another video on the reasons why people continue to play Rockstar games no matter how upset, frustrated, and disappointed they are with the game. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you guys would like to see. And I also want to personally give thanks to GameStar for the much needed official Rockstar Games interview. And again I put that link down in the description below. I also want to give a quick shout out to Zumi Fiasco for his hard work, passion, and dedication that's expressed through his channel. Make sure you guys also check out his videos in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you would like to see more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that bell to receive alerts.